Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Resident Evil 2 Remake. This time I'm going to show you how to get an S plus rank with Claire on her A scenario on hardcore difficulty. Uh, while we do this, we're going to be using a program called WSplit. And this is going to show the route that I'm taking as well as give you some timer guidelines uh, for how you should be doing this. Um, keep in mind, I've done this once before, so this route may not be ideal but it will allow us to complete it under the requirements, and that is two and a half hours, and we can save three or less times. So there are a couple stipulations that I'll let you know while we get started. Um, first, we cannot use any infinite ammo weapons, with the exception of the knife. However, I will not use the knife. Um, you are more than welcome to, too. It does not affect your, your score. We have to do this under two and a half hours and less than three saves. I will be 100% in the game, and by that I mean Gonna be getting all weapons, all weapon attachments, as well as all hip pouches. So without further ado, let's get started. We're also gonna be skipping all cutscenes. So keep that in mind as well. This is not meant to be a speed run. Uh, I am, however, obviously you have to complete this under a certain amount of time, and it is a bit of a, it's a challenge, I won't lie. Um, but, you know, we're not gonna be trying to like any percent this. I'm not trying to run through it as quickly as possible. Um, in a way I am, but you know what I mean. I'm not trying to like speed through it and use glitches and all sorts of stuff. So in any event, we're going to head back here. We're going to get the key along the wall. We're going to turn around and then the zombie should walk right past us. Great. There's a chance that he won't. Um, you could shoot him in the head and that should stun him. Um, if it doesn't, however, may as well restart. I mean, we're going to be healing. We're going to be using, be using the inventory box. If you're looking for a minimalist frugalist guide, I do have one of those on the channel. And since this will be a pretty long video, I'll take this opportunity to say if you need any help, please feel free to leave a comment. And if you're looking for other Resident Evil 2 guides, please check out my channel and subscribe so you get alerted when new ones go live. So that's my plug. I'll plug again at the end. Um, so now that we're on the streets, we can turn right around. And we can head through the streets, and our goal is to get to RPD. I'm hoping the DLC somehow lets us explore the city a bit more outside of RPD and the Orphanage. That'd be pretty cool. The DLC is set to release this week, actually. So that'd be nice. So, Claire's A scenario is pretty similar to Leon's. Um, her RPD and parking garage. So the she does RPD in a bit of a different order uh, because she doesn't have the crank. So she has to go through some hoops uh, when she gets to the parking garage um, that Leon doesn't have to go through. So just keep that in mind. Oh my god. I have the worst luck when it comes to this one zombie. I mean, I could like reset the run here, but there's a first aid spray as soon as you get into the, into the, into the building. So I'll just go ahead and use it. It's not a big deal. So, I can't believe I got bit there. It, it happens all the time. For some reason, I'm just terrible at dodging that zombie. I sometimes try to run in front of him, and then he lunges at me. I walk behind him, and he usually just ignores me. But today, he didn't want to. No big deal, though. So this is going to be a 100% run, like I said. So I'm going to be healing, using the inventory box a lot. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be afraid to pick up healing items and, and all that. So. so, like I said, Claire's pretty similar to Leon. Uh, early on, it starts to change uh, near the parking garage. Uh, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty much the same up until that point. I'm going to come into the bathroom. And get that first aid spray. I'm going to toss the key and use the first aid spray. This thing said I got bit there, but it's going to happen, you know? All right, so we're gonna get the notebook. Open up. Open the door. All right, next up is the spade key. So the puzzle solutions for Claire are basically the same as Leon's. There's, there's no difference. Um, Claire, however, gets the heart key instead of the club key. So that's her main difference. And that allows her to do different things. She also does not get the crank. So if we stick to the right, these two zombies won't be able to grab us. So we just go ahead and snake past them. All right. So we meet Marvin. We get the combat knife. Okay, so the in-game timer, as you can see there, is actually behind our real timer, so that's good. Go ahead and pick up this first aid spray as well. 
We'll just drop it right in the box. We're going to be picking up herbs along the way, so we don't really need it. Since Claire doesn't require the club key, she doesn't really need to, like, come through here a second time and just destroy everything. Uh, she can actually ignore some of it. Um, I will take care of a couple of the zombies on the way back, or on our second way through here, but it's, it's less of a hassle for her because she doesn't use the club key. Go ahead and grab these bullets. No luck on the exploding headshot. Got it that time. So these two zombies I do want to take care of because... Ooh, nice. I've never actually gotten that headshot off of him. Uh, because we do come back here when there's liquors around, and obviously we don't want to get bit by any of them. Okay, so we're going to board up this window, because again, we're going to come through here a couple times. We don't want to get caught by those guys. Now we're going to go ahead and he uh, come in here real quick. Turn on the light. I'm just going to drop this herb in here. And there's some ammo right Oh, it's gunpowder. Oh, well, we might as well pick it up. And the save ribbon. Obviously, we're not going to use that yet. Drop that. Great. All right. On to the spade key. Okay, so these two zombies over here, I will be taken care of. She actually has ammo on her that I want to grab before I kill her. Okay. I've never been able to get a headshot on her. Ever. Like a... A critical shot. Ever. Oh. Nice. Speak of the devil, I'm having some pretty good luck here. Alright, heading up to the third floor. Grab the spade key. Okay, uh, enough before we open this locker for some for some ammo. Combination is DCM. This is ammo for the SMG that we'll get a little later. We got the club key or the spade key rather. All right, now we have to get portable safe number one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head into the steam room. We're gonna grab this red herb. Go ahead and combine it. Great. Okay, so we'll solve this portable save real fast. I recommend using a pen and paper. So, one is down here. Three is up here. Five's over here. Seven is up here. Eight's down here. This is one, so let's try that. Five is up here. Or er, sorry, six is up here. Four is over here. Two is down here. Two. Five. Six. Three. Four. Seven. Eight. One. Okay, portable safe number one done. All right, let's go ahead and place this key. Okay, 
since we've had some pretty good luck with our ammo, uh, I'm just going to place the key and leave. There's not much you could do with, with the number two key, and the most valuable thing in here is the extra hip pouch, which we can't get now anyway, so. All right. Come to the office here. I'm going to pick up this ammo. Pick up this gunpowder. And then we're going to get the extra hip pouch. The combo for this safe is 9, 15, 7. Do 9 left. 15 right. 7 left. Okay, so this is the first hip pouch. On hardcore difficulty, there are three hip pouches missing. Um, the one... Sorry. I'm going to solve this and I'll continue <laughs> what I was saying. This is NED. And then this is MRG. Okay, great. This is the speed loader. All right. Um, so there are three hip pouches missing. Uh, namely, one in the sewers. Uh, there's one in the sewers that's missing. Uh, the technical first one, whoops. The technical first one that you get is also missing. Uh, this, this guy's just not going down. There we go. Uh, the one in the... Uh, where the maid medallion is, that one's missing as well. Um, and then there's one in the sewers that's missing, as well as... Uh, there's a third one that's missing as well. Um, it's the first one, it's the one in the sewers, and then... I don't know why I can't remember the last one, but there's there's one missing. Wow, that's really weird that I can't remember what, what the third one is. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use the spade... Sorry, we're going to use the spade key over here. Uh, and the reason for that is because I want to get rid of it kind of quickly. Okay, so we're not going to go into the library just yet, but we are going to use the key there. Okay. The next time we use the spade key, we're, it, it's going to be the last time, so we can go ahead and get rid of it. Um, I am going to come back down to the, to the item box real quick, though, because I forgot to drop the SMG ammo. I'm just going to do that real fast. All right. Man, what, what is the third hit pouch that's missing? I, can't, I don't know why I can't remember. It's the first one, and then it's another one before the one in the sewers. Oh, it's the one after G Stage 1. Yeah. So our next uh, stop is the high-capacity magazine in the safe in here. And then the, uh, the key card for the grenade launcher. So this safe's combination is 6 to 11. 6 to... 11. And this is the high capacity magazine for the 9mm that we'll get later. Okay. Oops. Okay, so we can go ahead and discard the spade key now. Alright. We grab the key card. Uh, we're going to leave that board there for now. Okay, so next up are the bolt cutters. All right, let's get the cutscene. We're gonna pick up the board here. Hey Marvin, this is bad. Got... Bullets everywhere. and the bolt cutters. Marvin, Marvin, are you there? Marvin? All right, so next we're gonna head into the office over here, the east office. We're going to pick up the valve and the fuse. Yikes. I hate that he leaves that room sometimes. That caught me way off guard my last playthrough. So we're going to pick up this flash grenade. With some bullets. Going to board this window. Okay. Going to grab the valve. We're going to grab the fuse. We're going to be on our merry way. 
All right, next up is the electronic device. Place the fuse. So in-game time, we're at 13.30. Our real-life timer is 14 minutes, or so about 30 seconds. Um, I'm not really sure what causes that desync. I'm not sure if the game counts a little bit slower. Um, really not sure. All right, so we're going to make our way through here. So normally with Leon, you would have to, like, kill all these zombies. But with Claire... You don't. You could just like. Oh, nice. We got great luck there. You just gotta like disable them for a minute. You just gotta stun them or whatever. And the reason is because Claire doesn't have to come back through that hallway um, because she gets the heart key, which opens um, a door in this room, which allows her to kind of like snake through all that. So we pick up the herb. We have the electronic device. So now we can head up to the grenade launcher, which is right here. Okay. Oh, whoops. Sorry, we gotta place the key card. It's funny, I'm actually not sure if I can uh, hold this because I won't be able to grab the ammo. Uh... <laughs> this is so funny. Claire gets an upgrade for a weapon like super fast that she can't actually use. Damn, okay. So we gotta do something real quick. Uh, I'm not gonna hit the grenade launcher split just yet because we need to go to the the box and put that extended magazine in there. I'm thinking if I have to do this guide again, I'll probably not open that safe right away. Uh, we can also place this herb. I'm placing the, uh, the mixed herb there because we're gonna run into a red herb in the Starry's office, which is where we're headed next. So, what we want to do is we want to open locker 208. Wow, I don't know if you saw that, but those graphics like weren't ready yet. And 109. So this is some uh, flame rounds for the grenade launcher, as well as some regular ammo. Alright. So, our next stop is the battery. Batteries in the star's office. So what we want to do is we want to go up to the steam room that we went to before. And we want to use the valve. And we're going to get a bunch more flame rounds along the way. Place the valve. Open this up. This combo is CAP. Okay, and then there's some more in here as well. All right. So we're also gonna get this gunpowder here. As well as these flame rounds. And then we can actually just run past this liquor. That time you can. Because he has like a, a um, all right, we got the battery. The reason for that is because he, he like does a specific thing at that point, it's scripted, so he can't like be interrupted out of it. All right, pick up some more flame rounds. Pick up a flash grenade. Pick up this high grade gunpowder, get some acid rounds. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can get the unicorn medallion. Actually we can't. So Claire like, has this problem where she has too much in her inventory all the time. And it's primarily because the grenade launcher can only have one round at a time. Um, it's not a big deal, though. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear out the library. There she is. I was wondering where that lady went. All right, so we gotta clear out some zombies in here. And then we're gonna preemptively move these bookshelves. And 
grab some ammo. <laughs> All right. And then what we can do is we need to hit the inventory box real fast. Unfortunately, this doesn't really ever get any less annoying with Claire. Um, it just doesn't. She has uh, way more limited space in her inventory than, than Leon really ever does, and it's because of the grenade launcher. Alright, so I never really use acid around, so I'm just going to put them in the box there. Um, and then I'm also going to put my knife in the box as well. Alright, so now we can go back upstairs and, and get the medallions. So, normally I would put the herb in the box, however... We are going to encounter a liquor that I'm not the best at dodging, so uh, I'm going to keep the earth. We're also going to pick up the book. Okay, and then we're going to solve the unicorn. And this is fish, lobster, urn. Okay. Next up is the maiden medallion. We're going to head upstairs. Okay, so this for this hit pouch is missing, the one that should be right there. Okay, we're going to place the detonator. And a little trick. This works with Leon as well. We're going to leave this door. We're going to go back through this door. And that's going to make it so the explosion does not move the bookshelf. chose not to bring the knife. So this zombie doesn't wake up. I'm just going to assume he's dead. It's probably a bad assumption to make, but what are you going to do? I'm going to take these I'm going to get these bullets though. All right. So we're going to solve the maiden. This is woman bow snake. Okay. And we gotta run. So I opt to keep the flash grenade. Ooh, what a juke. Can I do it twice? Wow, I did. What a juke. I'm proud of that. I'm very, very proud of that. So <laughs> now that we have that, um, we can head back downstairs. And then I'm gonna grab this knife. And then we have to hit the inventory box one more time. First, we're going to grab the scepter. So the scepter is in the art room that we got the key card out of before. And the scepter is required uh, for Leon to get the um, uh, to get the the magnum. For Claire, it's required to get the submachine gun. That zombie's there. He's he always shows up at random times. I'm not exactly sure where he even comes from. Okay. We got the scepter. Now we just gotta hit the inventory box and grab... Oh, God! I thought he was to my right. Oh, well. Gotta grab the lion medallion now. Alright, he's dead. Alright, so we just gotta hit the, the box one more time. Actually, we can just go downstairs and, and place these two medallions and then get the lion. I'm not, like, as familiar with Claire and her inventory needs, so, you know, take my, uh, my mistakes um, with, with her inventory and uh, adjust it accordingly for yourselves. Okay. I'm gonna head back upstairs real quick. We'll get the lion medallion. 
So this solution is lion bird or lion leaf bird. Okay. All right. Oops. Now we can uh, fight G stage one. shells. Go ahead and place the scepter in there. Flash grenades. We'll keep the knife. Um, I guess that's it. Alright. So we're also going to pick up a grenade. So here in the basement, we're going to go all the way down. We're going to pick up a grenade. Grenades are extremely, extremely important on hardcore. Reason being because basically any time you get grabbed by a zombie, uh, one bite will bring you down to danger. Um, additionally, grenades are really, really useful on the final boss. So you want to try to save them as much as possible. Um, I will likely burn a few in the sewers uh, getting grabbed by the G adults. Just not very good at dodging them. and they are, To me, they're like a little funky. Uh, I, I find them kind of inconsistent in terms of dodging. All right, so and fight G stage one. you got. He gets pretty toasty. You kind of char his skin. Um, what a lot of people do, and especially on PC, so if you're playing this on PC, the knife does more damage on PC. So what you're actually... Oh, Jesus. He's, so what you're actually better off doing is um, once the fight starts, just run up to him and start using the knife. Um, the knife, the knife's damage is attached to the frame rate, and obviously PC plays at a higher frame rate than console. So, keeping that in mind, uh, you know, just knifing bosses is, like, usually the way to go on PC. Alright, so I'm gonna save some rounds here. I'm gonna start shooting. some flame rounds for some liquors. So, now we'll start using the handgun. I have a feeling that if I tossed a grenade at him right now, he'd die. Um, I just don't want to yet. I really wish he would stop chasing me, though. That'd be great. Or at least slow down. Good. That wasn't too bad. So we're going to pick up our knife here. Alright. Now we can go around the room, grabbing all the stuff. That was G stage 1. Pick up some more bullets, pick up another grenade, pick up a green herb. 
Okay. Pick up a, some more ammo and a red herb. Okay. And then there's one more spot with another green herb and some more ammo. So in case you come in here with low ammo, no big deal. There's plenty of healing items. This is actually the only boss, aside from G Stage 3, where there are healing items for you. So keep that in mind. There's a first aid spray in G Stage 3. All right. And then before we proceed all the way, hello, Sherry. This way. We're going to grab this gunpowder. And then we're also going to grab this herb that's kind of tucked away in there. So keep that in mind. All right. So we are on our way to the parking garage. The next thing we're going to get is the JMB HP3, which is the... I think it's a 9mm. I'm not a gun aficionado. I don't know. It looks like the SOCOM from Metal Gear, so maybe that's what it's supposed to be. I have no idea. Um, it's a gun. <laughs> it's going to replace our revolver for quite a while. Uh, until we get down to the sewers and we can get the uh, the reinforced frame that basically turns it into a magnum. We can shoot magnum bullets. Unfortunately for Claire, she cannot make magnum bullets. So that's kind of rough for her. Okay. So you notice I basically emptied my entire inventory, including the handgun. reason for that is because we're going to get another handgun. And I actually just realized something. I need to get the extended magazine that I had before. Okay, so Sherry gets kidnapped by the police chief. Spoilers. Uh, so we're just going to head back downstairs real quick. And I'm going to grab that magazine that I forgot to take out of the box. Sorry about that. This is the extended clip that we got out of the uh, second safe earlier. Okay, great. So now we have that. It's going to come in handy. All right, so our first stop is the firing range. And that's so we can get the box with the key, as well as some flame rounds. All right, so this section, believe it or not, is a lot shorter for Claire than it is for Leon. Reason being, Claire doesn't get the crank. We've got the box, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna use the flame rounds. Or we're gonna get the flame rounds, sorry. We're going to come back in here really quick later, once we get the diamond key in a few minutes. Uh, reason being is because we want to use the diamond key uh, there, because when we use it to get the second portable safe, that we want that to be the last time we use the diamond key, so we can just toss it right away. All right, we got the key. Turn the key around. We can use the key. This opens the trunk of this car. Okay. Go ahead and combine those right away. Perfect. All right. Now we can go into the morgue and get the diamond key. There's a liquor on that wall there. We'll be seeing him in a moment. When you're near rooms with liquors, uh, I recommend just taking it slow. Reason being, because they can actually hear you through walls sometimes. All right, so we're gonna grab this high. Great gunpowder here, and then we're just gonna walk right around this liquor here. There's a liquor here on the ceiling as well. We're just gonna cut this corner here. We're gonna walk right past him. Okay, great. They don't hear doors. Weird. All right, so we're gonna open the second one here, and in here, is a red herb. Great. This zombie in here has a, f oh, not here, in here. He has a flash grenade that we want. Like I said, grenades are always important. Let's go ahead and grab that, then put him right back where you found him. Perfect. Okay. Then we want to kill this guy. All of your 
ammunition on him. Oh man, that really sucks. Wasting a flash grenade on him. Now unfortunately, right, so he's dead. Unfortunately, we have no knife left. So we're kind of stuck with that guy. Okay. So we want to grab the diamond key off of this gentleman. He's going to come alive. No problem. But now, we're just going to casually walk back through here. And we are 100% just going to ignore this liquor. For some reason, we're allowed to do that. I don't understand why. But the game just doesn't register that. So we got the JMB3 and the diamond key, so now we're gonna get the heart key. There is a liquor on this ceiling now. We're gonna do what any American would do. And we're gonna kill it. All right, it's dead now. So we're gonna head back into the firing range real quick. These guys are all going to be woken up, no problem. Going to use the diamond key here. Going to run in here. We're going to get a red herb. That's it. We're going to turn right around. Okay. Now that's one of the tougher parts. Um, I'm not really sure if you have to kill that liquor or if you don't. I'm not really 100% sure. But I, my luck, they drop down when I walk underneath them. So I just like to take care of it. So two flame rounds will, will kill it. Must be where that guy came from. Okay. So we can use the diamond key to open this door. Okay. Pick up the stock for the grenade launcher. Okay. We can activate the elevator. Pick up this high grade. Pick up this blue herb. Go in the elevator. Go upstairs. Combine these herbs. Perfect. All right. Now we go into the chief's office. Let me get our inventory box back again. All right. So we're going to store that. Actually, no. We're going to keep that for now. Store that. Store that. All right. Now we're going to grab the heart key. Actually, MP5 ammo right there. All right. MQ5. I, f I forget the name of that gun. The submachine gun. MQ9, I think. I don't know. I can never remember the names. Grab the picture frame. Hard keys on the back. Great. All right. So got the hard key. Next stop is electrical component number one. Okay. Go ahead and... Remove the diamond key for now. Grab this mixed herb. We're gonna get our knife back. And I think that's it for now. Store that as well. Okay, so next stop, electrical component number one. So luckily, players' electrical components are a good bit closer than everyone else's, or than Leon's, everyone. Like there's nine characters in this game. Okay, first thing we gotta do though, we gotta board up a window down here. And this is very preemptive, you don't have to do this. This may even be like a complete waste of time, but we are gonna come back down here um, with the threat of a liquor. Oh, we can actually come down here right now. Sorry, I had Leon on the brain. But just to, uh, just to stay consistent, uh, I'm gonna follow my route here. Only because I only have one flame round and we need two to kill the liquor, so it's okay. All right. Like I said, I just routed this this morning, so <laughs> keep that in mind. 
Flash grenade there. Bullets here. Okay. And in here. Flame rounds as well as a zombie. Yeah, we're gonna get him to come through this door. It'd be a lot easier to deal with him out here. Take out our knife, finish him off. I think that's it. Yep. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god. Take care of him real quick. Grab electrical component number one. Use the hard key in this room. And we can actually discard this knife because it's getting down there. Pick up electrical component number one. Great. Grab the knife. Even better. Uh, okay. So unfortunately, our inventory is a little bit full, so we just got to empty our empty our inventory really fast. Grab the large cog, and then we'll get the bejewel box downstairs. Sorry, this is a little bit out of order, but luckily everything's really, really close, so we're not really wasting too much time. Dump the component. We can dump the flash grenade. We can dump the rounds as well. Like I said, Claire just has, like, inventory troubles in this game. Uh, it takes her a while to, to really start to feel comfortable. And it's, again, it's because the grenade launcher can only hold one round at a time. Whereas with Leon, the shotgun can hold four. Ah, sorry. Took the long way. All right, we got the large cog. This takes up two slots. Okay. Now we can go to get the bejeweled thing. We're actually going to drop this in the box real quick. Because it does take up a lot. I'm actually considering removing the stock, if I'm being honest. I think it's just a complete waste. Yeah, we'll just remove it. It's just taking up an unnecessary slot. Stock, cog. Okay, great. Large cog done. So we head back downstairs. We're gonna get the bejeweled box now. And luckily Claire can get this a little bit quicker than Leon, because Leon doesn't, he gets the club key near here, but he can't actually do anything with it for a while. All right, can use the heart key? And the bejeweled box is right over here. However, a liquor comes busting through that glass. Let's so let him writhe on the floor for a minute. And that'll kill him. Gonna go into this locker. Gonna grab the high grade. Oh, he's still alive. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. Usually two does the trick. There he goes. Okay. We come in here. This officer has uh, regular gunpowder on him, so we can go ahead and combine that for some acid rounds. Great. All right, jeweled box. Next stop is the jack. So we'll drop this in the box real quick, and then we make our way to the jack. Now we're sort of done with this little section here. And now we're gonna head outside. Pick up this blue herb, because we don't really have 
the need to come get it later. So the ladder does not break for Claire. Okay, so we're gonna grab those bullets. We're at 43 minutes and 26 seconds. See, our, our real life timer is like quite a bit behind. Oh. So these zombies, unfortunately, just become kind of annoying. Oh, I shot her arm off in one bullet. Nice, good, good shot. Okay. So we're gonna turn the water. Now there's two green herbs over here. Very important to pick up. Combine that. Okay. Grab that one. Then we're gonna encounter a red herb in the next door. Ugh, god, that's juicy. Alright. So we hit the pump. Now we're gonna have our first encounter with Monsieur X. Great. Unfortunately, we wasted that flash grenade before, so we can't get past him quickly. X, go and give it to you. If I was playing with P, if I was playing on PC, I would definitely have that mod where. Whenever he shows up, X go and give it to you starts playing. I think that's the greatest mod in, in PC gaming history. So, we're just gonna kite him out here, and then we're just gonna, just gonna make our way. Okay. Now, I prefer to go this way. A lot of people prefer to go the downstairs route. Uh, we do need to visit the box real quick. Keep in mind, Mr. X is attracted to gunfire. He's also attracted to uh, liquors screaming, I find. All right, so we're gonna keep the acid range. We're gonna drop this, drop this, drop this, and keep the heart key. Get the scepter, get the box, diamond key as well. So real quick, we're gonna examine this, combine it with this to get the shield. Okay, great. So now what we gotta do is we gotta go into the west office. Very important, we need to walk right now. Very, very important, we need to walk because we do not want to alert these liquors here. So we want to go through this door, and then into this door. This is the heart key, which we can now toss. It's the jack, and then there's a grenade over here. And then Mr. X is going to come through here. Which is quite frustrating because he was nowhere near us before. Likely gonna get slashed right here. Maybe we can make it to the safe room. Ooh, wow, okay, we just made it. Ooh, Jesus, that was really close. So, unfortunately, we do have to hang out in here for a minute. It's no big deal, though. Alright, um, I'll exchange that. We'll exchange that for the second portable safe. We're not gonna get rid of that yet. Okay, so we need to get rid of this. Let's just get rid of these. Actually, I'm going to keep the grenade launcher with one grenade in it, that's fine. And then we'll keep the rest. All right, so unfortunately we do have to hang out in here for a minute. 
until Mr. X leaves us alone. Oh, here it is. I'm dying over here for a chapstick. All right. So unfortunately, I honestly have no idea where he is. To do is we need to stay walking because if we run even in this room the liquor will, will alert mr x so we examine the shield oops and then insert the shield and we're gonna go to the computer grab the mq11 perfect don't forget to grab the shield again. We're also going to grab this first aid spray. Okay. He's going to turn around. Wow, lucky, okay. Alright, then we're gonna come in here and get the second portable safe. We'll grab this too. Oh, toss the diamond key. Okay. We'll go ahead and examine this. We'll solve this real fast. The one's up here. Three's down here. Five's over here. Seven's down here. Eight's up here. Six is over here. Four is down here. Two's over here. So two, three, four, seven, five, eight, one, six. Okay. So it's portable safe number two. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to go down. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't wanna take this route. Only because I don't want to have to book it through that hallway with the liquor there, I just don't wanna to have to deal with that. So we're gonna take a bit of a detour. He's in the library. I should take another route. Oh god, I keep getting caught on everything. Alright. So, where we're going now is for hip pouch number two. We have to go back into the... into the safety deposit room. First, though, we need to use this item box to grab the large cog again. Dump that. We're gonna dump the knife as well. We'll dump that for now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna head back to the west office. We're just gonna walk straight across here. Careful of the liquor. Okay, now we have key three. So we're gonna open up locker 203. As well as 103 to grab a knife. Okay. All right, now it's time to get electrical component number two in the clock tower. Prank 
praying to God he's not in here. Okay. <sighs> God. You never know where he'll show up. I think he's in the library again. Okay, we use the jack. I just realized I should have put the shield back, but it's okay. We yeah, got another box soon enough. God. Okay, well, luckily, preemptively pushing those bookshelves together. Nope. Damn, is there still a space? I can't see. There is not. Okay. So, preemptively pushing those bookshelves together actually just saved us from a punch from him. Because now, we can walk right across. And also watch Mr. X use a ladder. Pretty cool. Oh my god, I went too far. Yeah, come on down. So sorry, guys. That was a complete waste. At least you get to see that cool animation. I can't believe I just did that. In my Leon S Plus guide, I accidentally went into that room right there with two liquors and almost ate it. So... I kind of have bad luck in this room. All right. So we come in here. Can you go ahead and use a flame round on this guy? All right. Place the large cog. This drops the stairs. Pick up the large cock again. We head upstairs. Pick up the small cog. Place the large cog. Okay, we head downstairs. And before we place the small cog, we're gonna grab a large canister of gunpowder in a back room over here. Okay. All right, come over here to this little engine, place the small cog. And then that activates the bell, and then we grab the second electrical component that drops. Now, what we're about to do is a little tricky, because it largely depends on where Mr. X is. What we want to do is we want to kite this guy to the right, get him to chase us for a second, and then just go around his left. Okay. <laughs> Expecting Mr. X to be down this hallway. And hopefully he's not in this storage room here. Go ahead and open this door. We're gonna head right through here. Pick this up too, that's very nice. Okay, we're gonna go downstairs. And that's that, all right. So now we're gonna solve the electrical puzzle using our two components and then start the Sherry segment. Box real quick. Place that back, place that back, place that. Place that, place that. We'll get the second box electrical part. Okay, great. So then we head over here into this room. So we're at 57.29 in game time. Headed into the Sherry segment, which is great. I can examine this. Examine this. Place that, place that, okay. Oops, yep, perfect. Okay, I may have actually just gotten an achievement of sorts. We'll go to records, yep. So we just got Voltage Virtuoso, which is to complete that in like less than five moves or something. 
Uh, seven moves. Great. Okay. Interact with the locket. Police chief calls. All right, so we're starting Sherry's segment now. Okay, so we turn around, get the stuffed doll, which is really creepy looking. Get the block, I just sneeze. <coughs> Ooh. Sorry about that. All right, we go ahead and place the block. And then the solution for this is first block to the third. Fourth, rather. No. Drop it. First one, we rotate down once. Twice, rather. This one, we rotate there. Perfect. All right. I actually think my notes for that are wrong. We solve that. We use the scissors. Okay, crouch under here. And we escape the room. And if that was in under 60 seconds, we would get an achievement. I already have the achievement, so it won't pop. But if that was in under 60 seconds, then you would get the achievement once you leave the room. Okay. Climb out of here with Sherry. All right. Believe it or not, I actually really prefer this this section uh, over Ada. I find Ada's um, section in the Leon playthrough uh, pretty tough. Um, you can only get bit by one zombie, and they're like a little unpredictable as always. Uh, whereas with Sherry, like everything is super scripted, and as long as you hide in the right place at the right time. Nothing will happen to you. All right. Oh no, it's him. Yes, yeah, so let's run towards him. All right. If you want to save, you can. You can save there. Uh, I don't. But grab the key and then we start the chase. You are gonna be so and he shows his true colors, and it's just incredibly rude to Sherry. We're gonna run upstairs. You stupid bitch, that's a dead end. We're gonna crouch here, and we're gonna hide behind here. And we just crossed the one hour mark, so it's making really good time. So, we just crouch behind here. I was kind of close. I was actually on the edge there. It's all over just keep crouching so he doesn't see you. And the trick here, not really a trick, but just you want to watch out for his flashlight and which direction his flashlight is facing. Because you can't actually see him. Where are you? Show yourself. Okay, so he turns the corner. You're in here. And then we the just circle takes me to find you, the worse it's these bookshelves. Be. And he's going to move that crib over there for us. And we just tuck ourselves into this corner here. Oh God. Oh God. All right, then he's going to trip. And then we just run over here. God damn it. Hide under this table. And that's it. Sherry's section is basically done. So we can literally put the controller down and just wait. Actually hits her. Like he brushes up against her. 
and somehow like that doesn't trigger it. All right, so he uses his key to unlock the door, so we just run up, grab the key, okay, and then we run away. Now, if I'm being completely honest with you, I'm not 100% sure if we absolutely need to use it on the front door. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to anyway. I'm thinking you may not have to, but I, I haven't tried it, and I don't feel like failing this now an hour into it, so let's we'll go ahead and try it. Or we'll, we'll go ahead and use it. Okay. He does the Here's Johnny. He's so mean. Alright. And that's it. That's Sherry's segment. Drop the grenade launcher. Grab our submachine gun ammo. We have a knife. Uh, where's my MQ11? Great. Uh, yeah, I think we'll take the grenade launcher with the acid rounds just in case. But I really don't think we're gonna need it. So, now we have to make our way to the orphanage. So we're going to use that parking garage key. And believe it or not, it's going to trigger Mr. X, who literally teleports in. I figured they could at least have him busting through the door from the kennel. But he just teleports in. All right. There he is. <laughs> I don't know where he comes from. Oh wow, he's quick. All right, so we just kind of run around these cars. And by the time we do that, the gate opens for us. Uh, don't forget the herb over here. There's a green herb. Great. There he is. All right. So, Leon goes into gun shop Kendo. Claire, however, needs to go where that zombie is. The zombie's just gonna knock that down. Chance we're gonna get grabbed here. Alright, no big deal. And that's it. Alright. So now we can start using the, M the MQ-9. Is that what this thing is called? MQ-11. I'll never remember. So we're at 106.23. Our real life timer is about 90 seconds ahead, so that's good. I think it counts for like loading in certain cutscenes. The reason we bring this is because of these dogs. You do just want to kill them. I don't mess with them, I just shoot them. It's not worth it.
Oh, Jesus. That was god awful. Oh my god, that was terrible. <sighs> that was a pitiful display. That was seriously embarrassing. With you. I had no idea they could jump the fence. It doesn't surprise me. I always wondered if they could do it. Alright, there's a purple herb right here. As well as a grenade right there. All right. All done. That was, that was a little nerve-wracking with those dogs. All right, so we're entering the orphanage now. Somehow the chains have been removed. I guess maybe Birkin broke them. I guess maybe that's an explanation. All right, so what we're going to do real fast, we're going to head upstairs. Because there's a first aid spray up there that I want. We head into the bathroom. There's a couple things in here for us. First aid spray. That, that's a letter. Oops. Is there ammo in here somewhere? Yeah, okay. Weird. Alright. Maybe I just missed the prompt, but that was mashing X. <laughs> so. Alright, so now we're gonna head into the sewers. This will be our last encounter with Mr. X for Claire. Ooh. This facial animation was still going. Okay. Downstairs. This is a little chase sequence that we really don't need to worry about. So when Mr. X starts coming. It's weird that like he puts her in that pen, but she could have just ran. they anticipate you shooting Mr. X, like trying to make him stop or something? I don't know. Keep going. But. Alright. We have entered the sewers. Alright. There's some stuff in here for us. Oops, that's typewriter. Oops, that's a report about G that we don't really need. Got a save ribbon. There's one there's ammo. Yeah, there's ammo in here. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and store that stuff. Don't really need that. We'll keep the first aid spray. No, we'll dump the first aid spray. We'll take an herb mix. the SLS-60 for now. Um, 
Uh, I do need bullets though, regular bullets. Okay. All right. I think there's more ammo over here. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Cool. And we can go ahead and drop here. Sherry, can you hear me? And we will drop here. All right. Now I'm gonna smell like shit. So we're gonna grab this blue herb here. Sure where the G adult is. Oh, Cher, uh, Claire doesn't have a G adult here. Okay. Glad I was right. I always forget she doesn't have one there. Okay. Let's go ahead and head up. So our next stop is the T bar valve handle, which allows us to open doors in the sewers. Unfortunately, there are zombies in this room, which is a departure. Shit. From Leon's experience. We are going to open this locker. S, Z, F, because there are magnum rounds in here that we want. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, sorry, it was uh, MQ-11 ammo. It really sucks that I had to use that herb mix right there. Hold on, Sherry. Okay. Right there. Um, there should be handgun bullets here. Oh, right. Save ribbon. I'm gonna pick it up. We're gonna start saving now, anyway. Drop that. Drop that. Drop that as well. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're gonna grab the T-bar valve handle. Then we're gonna get the reinforced frame. We are going to make some back and forth stops to the iron box. All right, T bar valve handle. All right, we're going to grab this blue herb. Or the red herb, rather. And we're going to come over here. We're going to get the reinforced frame for the revolver. safe. This combination is 212-8. So this allows us to shoot magnum bullets. So we'll come back with that. That is blue herb from this gentleman here. This is a bit of a mistake. I should have gotten the, um, I should have just taken the, the revolver with me. It's okay, though. It's not a big deal. All right. Drop that, drop that. Uh, yep. Drop that, drop that, drop that. Okay. Grab the SLS 60. Okay. Now we need our ammo. Get our high powered rounds. Okay, we're gonna get the green herb down there. We're gonna pick up another green herb. So that's two. Two for the spark, and then two for that. Okay, so we're actually okay with this inventory setup. So what we're going to do now We're gonna head downstairs.
We need to kill some enemies here. You oh, that's so good. You can line enemies up and just save ammo. It's it's wonderful. Alright, so we're gonna preemptively kill those guys. I'm gonna grab this. Okay. I'm gonna grab a grenade over here. Just in case we get grabbed. Okay, and now we are after the king, the queen, and the spark shot. regular ammo. Grab the key. Actually, we're going to leave the key for now. If we need to come back here for it, we will. But I'm going to leave it for now. Grab this green herb. I'm going to hop up on here. This guy should move right here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so the trick is to shoot the adult G monster. To wake it up. And then, oh. And then, come on. Yeah, my thought was exactly. I'm going to preemptively use that. can't go left right now. I just can't. Come on, Claire, come on. Wow, okay. So that's like one of the most difficult areas in the game right there. That was close. All right. Damn, that was quite, quite close. There is a box of submachine gun bullets in that room. However, with Claire, I just don't go after them. I don't. I don't like doing it. All right, so we're going to place the queen there. And then we're going to preemptively kill this guy. I'm going to grab the king. Come back down. Come over here, place the king, grab the spark shot, great. Uh, we don't need to unlock this door because we have the inventory space, but if you need to leave here and you don't have the inventory space for the king and the queen, you can go through that door. Then you gotta make your way all the way back. All right, we got the king, the queen, spark shot, we just gotta escape now. So we place the queen over here. Place the king here. Grab the king again, or the queen rather. All right, we got all three. So what we have to do now is we have to head back to the save room, place those chess pieces and then head for the hidden film. All right, depending on how this room has developed. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to try for that box of bullets, but whatever. All right. Truth be told, you don't really use the spark shot after you leave here, so I probably could have. All right, so we're going to wake up this guy. You always want to try to aim for the eye. If you can aim for the eye, you have a good chance of one-shotting them.
All right. Now eh, we can grab this key. All right. I really have to use the restroom. <laughs> That'd be so bad. I always like do this with a big drink, like an idiot, and just wind up having to pee real bad. So once I get into that save room, I'll just use the restroom real quick. Probably shouldn't do these long guides with a giant Arizona green tea at, at my side, you know? All right, so we're gonna take the knight and place it over here. And then this solution is bishop, rook, knight. So we'll get the bishop from over here. We'll place it here. Oops. And then we do king, queen over here. King. All right. Uh. Okay, I'm terrible at using W split. I hit stop. I was looking for a pause. Uh. Oh well, I really have no idea what we're at, so I'll just go ahead and hide it. I know there's a pause function here. All right, I'm just gonna use the restroom real quick. Be right back. All right, we're back. All right, so we're at an hour, 23 minutes. We actually have great time. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toss this bark shot. We're really never gonna use it again. Um, I have an herb, so we're good there. Actually, you know what? Let me just use the first aid spray really fast. Get myself back up to full.
Okay, and then we'll also take a knife. Okay, great. So, sorry about messing up the, uh, the split. I just don't have a pause button down and it wasn't in the menu. So, really sorry about that. It's not a huge deal. I mean, we have the in-game timer right now at 24, so this is, this is good. We're making very good time. So, the objective here is to be able to get back to G-Stage 2 by 1 hour 45 minutes. Keep that in mind. That's what we're looking for. This is another for, uh, hip pouch that's missing in hardcore, so don't be alarmed when you don't see it. Pick up the film. Blow that guy's head off. This is a little risky. You asshole. Ugh, we're really wasting ammo here. Oh boy. All right. Well, this is what it is, you know. Oh, God, this guy hadn't even dropped yet. All right, oh, no. to save ammo. Magnum ammo with Claire is especially scarce because she cannot create it, unlike Leon, who can. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Pick up like, a big gunpowder. We got the hiding place film from that room. Pick up this gunpowder. Pick up this ammo. And we're gonna move the shelf. And luckily, when we move through the police station, Mr. X will no longer be here because on Claire, on Claire's playthrough, he's dead. And on, um, with Leon, he's just not here. I don't really know why. <laughs> he's not. Now, uh, there's some more Magnum ammo right here. Gonna pick that up. Now we can open this back up. And this is the room that we fought, or that led to G stage one, where we found that first grenade. So on our way back here, we will also pick up the MQ-11 suppressor with the shield. So keep that in mind. Go ahead and call the elevator. the valve handle. Sorry, Marvin. Had to be done. Sorry. Just want to make sure you never know. All right, so now we need to develop this film. So we're going to mosey on down. A 
Okay. Alright, I forgot there was a red herb in here. I always forget that. Alright, we developed the film. Now we know the hiding places. Alright, so now we got the MQ11 high capacity mag. Go ahead and drop that, drop that, drop that. Let's take the MQ11 back out. And we'll also take some ammo with us. Okay, now we're gonna head back into the stars room. Okay, be sure to walk once you get into this room. Because our boy's right there. We're gonna head back to the star's office, and since we've developed that roll of film, go ahead and open this. Keep in mind, you still want to be walking. Very important to keep walking here. So we can examine this box. Open it. It's the extended magazine. Or the high-capacity magazine. The MQ-11. And what's cool is that when you get that, it actually has ammo in it. So it doesn't take any ammo out of your inventory. It automatically has an extra 24 bullets in it. So we're going to casually walk out of here. Casually. Casually. All right. Pick up this gunpowder for good measure, since it's there. Okay. Now we're going to head back down to the briefing room. And we're going to get our extra spark shot ammo. Now, normally I wouldn't even, um, I really wouldn't even do this. Um, the spark shot is not nearly as useful as the flamethrower. Um, you're like, the spark shot doesn't do the maximum amount of damage until it's finished charging. You have to hold L1 the entire time it's doing that. So it's really just not, like, really that good. Oh. Especially when you compare it to the um, to the flamethrower. Like the flamethrower is just so much more useful for Leon. So, but we'll still get it. And for good measure, we'll get this box of bullets in here. There's also like the first board available in the game is is there. So keep that in mind. And then we'll also come in here. Grab that, and then we'll grab the high-grade gunpowder in here. Okay, so we'll make some acid rounds later. Or even just some MQ-11 ammo. Alright. So, that's all done. So now we're gonna head back over here. Alright. Gonna visit the box. Dump all of our gunpowders. Nope, nope, we want that. We also want the spark shot. We want the SMG ammo. Yes. Get rid of that. Um, we don't need that for now, I guess. Let's go ahead and reload the spark shot. Okay, we can get rid of these. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, cool. So now let's head back into the sewers. Let's get the MQ-11 suppressor. Of 
course, is right over here. So now we've got all the pieces. And now with Claire, this section is a touch different. The difference is, is that there are no zombies in this water, but instead there's an adult deep monster right there. Should pop that off. This should do it. All right. So with Leon, there's it's very simple. It's just a bunch of zombies going through this hallway. With Claire, you kind of have to deal with that guy. Don't forget to turn around here, though. Some MQ-11 ammo. Oh no, that might actually might have been Magnum ammo. I think it was. Yeah, it was. Cool, great. It's shotgun shells for Leon there. And then if you need handgun ammo, it's down there. But we're just gonna skip that. Alright, so we're gonna use the T-bar valve handle one last time. Times are starting to encroach over there. Sorry about that. Alright. Really sorry about the timers. I'm just like not good with using W split, and that is not something I'm about to remake a guide over. We're at 1 hour 36 minutes here. So we're doing fine. We're actually doing really, really well. Alright. Actually wondering if you shoot G stage 2 in the eye with the spark. Uh, shot will it will it do more damage? Not really sure. All right, so head back in here, and this is the first time we're going to save. And the reason that we save here with Claire and not necessarily with Leon, although you can save here with Leon, no problem, um, is because Claire actually has to use the crane twice on G stage two. She has to. She literally has no other choice. Let me just place this rook real fast, then we'll take a look at our inventory. So Claire has to use the crane, at least I believe she does. I have done so much damage to G Stage 2 with Claire and he just doesn't die. So she has to use the crane twice. Um, okay, so we have that. Let's go ahead and get our ink ribbon. We'll save. All right, this is save number one. Okay, place that back. Just rather do this. Oops. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's just take the one round. All right. So there's a full heal on your way to G stage two. There's a blue herb right here. We'll go ahead and pick that up. 
There's a green herb here. Go ahead and combine that. All right, and then there is a red herb in here. All right. All right, so we're starting this at 139.16. It's actually a really great time. Flip those three switches. Go ahead and start the fight. And then if we stand right here, we actually won't get hit. So we can just wait. I have seen in speedruns that there is a quicker way to uh, to get him to like move over there. I'm just not gonna. I'm not going to bother. <laughs> I'm just gonna like kind of take this easy. Have to ditch this knife. I completely forgot about the stun grenade. I always forget about the stun grenade. It's okay. We don't really need the knife. So eventually, we'll move over to the door. Okay, he's there now. Right, so stand right here. Start running. And then once he moves through, we can go ahead and just run right past him. Should have known you wouldn't die. Oh god. Oof, that's rough. Alright. Damn, he is right behind us. That's not that's not good. Okay. Alright, so now, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this stun grenade. We're going to chuck it right away. Then we're going to move the crane. and knee. I'm going to call the crane right back. Oh, that's a yikes. Damn. We didn't do that quick enough. This fight's a lot more difficult with, with Claire than it is with Leon. Because again, Leon has the flamethrower that just makes everything easier in life. There's a small chance we might die in this fight. Just, just letting you know. We may, like, run out of ammo here. God damn it. Pardon me, Mr. Birkin. Alright, we may have a good shot here. We got him. So we only had to use the crane. We only had to hit him with the crane once. I've read in multiple places that you need to hit him with the crane twice. All right. Well, great. Let's go ahead get Sherry. Glad we didn't die there. Now this this guy can be done with no deaths. Great. We go ahead and rescue Sherry. Now we get turned around. Alright, so we're heading into Nest with 45 minutes to go, which is perfect. Hold 
on, Sherry. You're gonna be fine. Almost there, Sherry. Almost there. Oh, good. Cable car. Headed into Nest. And our first stop. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not first stop will be to get ID badge level two, as well as the high energy condenser for the spark shop. I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear. Alright, so we'll place Sherry. Welcome to Nest. Enjoy your visit. In the doctor's room, or the security room rather. Okay. Pick up the wristband. We will come back here in a second. We just gotta visit the box. Okay. Place this, place this. Place that, place that, place this, place this. Okay, we'll take out a first aid spray real fast. We're gonna heal ourselves up. Okay. All right. So we're gonna put flame rounds right here. Okay. And we're gonna head into the cafeteria. There's a bunch of things that we're gonna pick up in the cafeteria, so just keep that in mind. zombies there is really no point in dealing with them it's just a waste of ammo we got everything we came for in there there's also a box of regular ammo there but we have so much gunpowder that it's there's kind of no point all right so there's a special ops guy there that we take care of it's our ID badge Okay. That's our high energy condenser. It's also more flame rounds. Alright. Next up is the herbicide solution. Or the herbicide solution. Alright, so from here on out, we want to save all of our grenades for the final boss. So keep that in mind. Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartman. In the east area. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and push the bridge. Alright, we are at four, an hour 47, so we have about 43 minutes to finish. Which is... We'll be cutting it close, but it's a good time. Trying to think of places that I could have saved time. I guess the runaround uh, in the beginning of the police station or the midsection of the police station with the electrical components. Probably could have done that a little bit better. Um, the inventory is really tricky with Claire. Spark shot. Just wanted to go ahead and combine it. Okay, great. Pick up that gunpowder. 
All right, so we're going to have the herbicide solution, the a flash grenade, an extra flash grenade, which, you know what? I'm going to dump that. We should be fine with that. Okay. So let's go get our herbicide solution. We'll also get some acid rounds along the way. this guy. Okay. So, this one, this one, this one. Oops. Great. Let me have this one, this one, this one, this one. Great. Get the herbicide solution from the machine. Or the canister from the machine, rather. Okay. Grab that. Grab this grenade, and there should be... Solution to match cartridge capacity. Okay, so we want to fill this up. Fill this up. mess this up. So sorry, I consistently mess this up. There's a quick solution, I can just never remember what it is. I just did the same thing again. What is wrong with me? There we go. Great. Sorry about that. I can never remember the solution for that. I don't know why. So now we got to get the signal modulator. Oh, is that what I wanted? We're going to leave that too. Okay. Wasted a few minutes on that herbicide thing. Should be fine. All right. All right, so what we need to do is we need to preemptively shoot these guys. both liquors to drop down from here. That's one. Two.
Did that kill him? Yes, okay. Jesus. Alright. There is another zombie right here. I'm just gonna leave these guys and come back with acid rounds. It's not really worth it to do right now. I have such limited ammo. Signal modulator. Help is up with you. All right. All right, we got a hustle here. So, place that, place that, place that, place that too. We need to freeze the herbicide solution. I got the signal modulator. I'm actually a little concerned about finishing this on time. We want at least like 15 ish minutes to escape. This is MURF. things. Okay. Now it's time to freeze the solution. Hour and 57, we have 32 minutes left. 33 minutes, about. I think we'll be okay. I think we're going to have to skip the last pouch. I, th I think we could still get it, actually. Welcome back. Dr. Lee, oh. you have five new messages. How about homegirl? Damn. Okay. Go ahead and place that. This is a cutscene that you can skip. Alright, and we gotta go get ID level three. I really hope this zombie stays dead. Alright. Now, I am deliberately... Oh no, he's on stairs. I can't deliberately get caught. This guy has no arms. Two of you, please come here. All right. I think what I'm going to need to do, I need to grab my MQ-11 just to be safe. Just 
as well as some ammo. Kind of out of rounds here. this Please be in time, please be in time. Okay, good. Jesus. Wow, I don't know how I just snuck past him. Thank God I brought that MQ11. Thank God. Okay. 29 minutes to finish. Oops. All right. So I'm actually confident that we can get the extra pouch. And believe it or not, it's going to help us a good deal. All right. So let's run back over here real quick. Real quick, like. Funny, they run at a good pace throughout the game, but then once you want them to run faster, once you're like press for time, like, oh my god, can you please run faster? Can you please run faster? All right, this one is MUF. Pouch here. Great. That's it. All right. <sighs> yeah, I was afraid of that. All right, so now it's time for G stage three. Twenty eight minutes. I'm actually not even sure if you need to do this. Like, truthfully. I really have no idea.
come over here, start the cutscene. Okay, we got the antidote. Thank God. The antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. Grab this, combine it with this. Grab that. Toss that. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a green herb. Store that. Store that. Okay. So we'll take those. And then we need to store this for now. We're going to take it back though. I'm going to combine. Okay. Grab an ink ribbon. Let's save. I'm going to save on a second slot just in case things go south. Okay, put that back. Alright. Let's go ahead and pick up our spark shot. Alright. So we have 24 minutes to kill G stage 3 and escape and kill G stage 4. I think we're okay. I'm a little nervous, if I'm being honest, but I think we're okay. Um, if I would recommend, I, I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't go for the upgrades. Yeah, I just wouldn't go for the suppressor. Or, I mean, I wouldn't go for the extended clip for the MQ-11. Wow, so if you actually hook onto the eye, it stuns it for a second? That's, that's good to know, I guess. I actually never knew that. Oh! Okay. Jesus. <laughs> that was risky. We're doing good here. We're doing good. Some more spark shot ammo here. Great. 
That was a good fight. So the spark shot is incredibly effective on him, as it turns out. I did not know that. Okay, so I just want to grab a couple things in here. All right, we need the grenades that are in here. Very, very important. We'll also grab the first aid canister. I've never successfully used a spark shot on him. I never really knew it worked. So we both, you and I, learned something today. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to hurry here. I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to hustle. Okay, this should be a grenade. Great. All right. We have 19 minutes to escape and kill the boss. Should be, we should be fine. Again, I'm a little nervous, still nervous, but we should be okay. Man, I really never knew that the spark shot was so powerful. I never even brought it into that fight, not once. I always considered it a huge waste, but I figured I'd I'd give it a shot. I'm glad I did. Okay. Sherry, can we walk faster? I don't want to rush you, but we have to go. Does Sherry ever, like, do anything in the games? Like, does she ever come back? Please answer me in the comment. I'd, I'd love to know. I never really played these games before, <laughs> so... I played, I played one remake. That was about it. Alright. So we're gonna hit the inventory box. Best explosion in the game. Perfect. Love it. Alright, we're gonna hit the inventory box real fast. And then, uh, we're just gonna grab the stuff in here. That was a knife, don't really need that, but the first aid canister is important. We want all the regular grenades. We want those two. Drop that. Actually. I'll take that just in case. Um, now we have no more... SMG ammo, right? No. Okay. Let's save, and then we're good. We do have to leave two slots open. Okay. Alright, let's 
do it. So, all those grenades we picked up throughout the game are going to come in handy big time in this fight. And the reason for that is because we want to destroy all of G Stage 4's eyes um, as quickly as possible. And the best way to do that is to just use a grenade. So we want to run past these guys really quick. You don't have to worry about Sherry, she can't take damage. But you certainly can. Let's go ahead and jiggle the door handle. we're gonna waste a couple grenades here which truly truly sucks So unfortunately, you just got to kind of wait for Sherry to open that door. Try not to waste a ton of ammo like I just kind of did. Shoot that guy once in the head. Should be able to move past. Just like that. Alright, it would be really cool if you could see uh, Leon fighting uh, Mr. X. I understand why they don't, because technically Birkin kills Mr. X in Claire's playthrough, but it would be kind of nice. We get the spark plug. The joint plug. Sure. Skip the cutscene. And we head right back out. Then we place it. We pick up the minigun. And we're good. Okay. Perfect. Alright. G stage 4. We have 14 minutes, although in reality we have seven and a half, so yeah, we're good. We're good on this. Alright. So we're gonna do as much work to his eyes as possible. And once he does that, we wanna throw a grenade. And that will Ooh, that didn't work. So what you are aiming to do is blast all of his eyes off. So you can only deal damage to him with his eyes. At least I think. Alright, as you can see, like, all the eyes are missing now. That's what you're going for. like that. Just want to keep blowing them up, basically. When he gets on the ground, that's your cue to just, like, start moving. So the second time he, he jumps up there, he's gonna just leap right for you. So he actually seems to be uh, dying a bit. This is good. This is good for us. So 
So he alternates when he climbs. He'll jump on top of the train car. And then he'll jump directly onto you. When he jumps on the train car, he'll jump onto you next. Just like that. When he hits the ground, he throws over. And that's it. So we just let him crawl on the floor for 30 seconds, and then it's over. We could literally just stand here. Grenades destroy him. So if you can save all of your grenades throughout the game, he is a piece of cake. An absolute piece of cake. I'm actually just now realizing that you can't even see this last transition here. <laughs> all right, and that's it. With time to spare, I never got that trophy before. I was never able to do it quick enough. And then we have also gotten an S plus rating. So we will go to the results screen. I'm gonna guess 223. S plus. All right, there you have it. That's how you get an S plus rating with Claire on hardcore difficulty, 100% in the game. So all weapons, all attachments, only saving three times and doing it under two and a half hours. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on the video. I'll do my best to help you out. Uh, if you're looking for more Resident Evil 2 content, you like this video, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new ones go live. I have guides for pretty much the whole game at this point. The only things I have left are to do the B scenario walkthroughs for S Plus on Hardcore, and then uh, all the files. Uh, I st I'm still missing a few myself, so I haven't gotten those. Um, I also stream every Tuesday and Thursday on twitch.tv slash sweetjohnnycage, so please join me there and consider becoming a subscriber if you like my streams. It helps me out a lot. Um, and yeah, that's it. All right, I hope this video has helped. If, uh, yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, have a good night. Bye-bye.